Hi, it's Robert here again. Are you ready for another Simply Sunflower design tip? I am. Let's do something country this time. Something wildflowery. Sunflowers are associated with a casual summer feel and I found this great galvanized bucket that's got a liner so it won't leak and I'm going to use do something real country and casual for maybe a picnic table if you're having people over or an outdoor barbecue. These are perfect for that. Let's just take I have some eucalyptus, I have some bear grass, and I have some curly willow. Now you could use any types of greens. What I wanted was casual greens, something that falls over like this, that kind of spills and gives you that casual kind of meadow feel. So let's just take the eucalyptus first and I'm going to cut it. About like that and we're going to drop it in to the vase. See how it's got that real casual feel? I'm even going to cut it just a little bit, some of these tips off, just like so. Because sometimes those little tips are new growth and they can brown on you. So like that. Now let's take the curly willow and I'm not going to need all of this. And you don't even need curly willow. You could go out into your yard and find a really cool gnarly branch or something that'll really work with, with this casual feel that we're trying to produce. I'm going to give it a little cut and I'm going to stick that whoop, into the center like so. Now I'm going to take my bear grass and in three, I'm going to break it up into three little bunches. It all depends on how your local market sells it. Some of them sell it in small bunches, some in large. You'll have to determine how much you'll actually need. But I'm going to put this in, in little groups like this. All around. Like so. Look what a nice casual feel that already has. You can almost just use this on its own. Now let's take our sunflowers. I have five of them here. And I don't want this to look structured at all. I want it to look very natural, like you just went out to the field and picked them. Now just remember though, you have to keep your weight balanced with sunflowers because they are going to draw water up to their head. And when they do, the top is going to get heavier so you don't want the whole arrangement to get top heavy. That's very important to remember. So let's take the first one, place it like that. And when I'm designing it, what I'm going to do is I work front to back, front to back, because I want to keep my weight balanced perfectly so my vase won't tip over on me. This one I'm going to place in the center, like so. Take our last, whoop, our last two, remove any of the foliage that maybe isn't so perfect. And even though I'm going symmetrically all around, it still has that casual feel. Whoop, I missed the vase. Turn your arrangement all around so you can keep seeing how it's turning out from all sides. And I'm going to add a little bit more of my curly willow to this because I love the way the curly willow looks in the arrangement. And you could even cut it into cool little pieces. See how gnarly that piece is? You can cut that into two like that. This will also help by putting these big branches into the water, it helps hold the whole arrangement together for you. Now, that, won't that impress your guests on your country picnic table? Have a nice feast. 